The part about Spire that was really neat and different from a lot of the other projects we've been on was it was ground up. The original goal for the bike was actually for a law enforcement, first responder type application. And that's actually what drove a lot of these elements. And they needed something that was really very sleek, very integrated, very high performance. All the pieces that they wanted to put together had never been done before. Nine out of 10 people wouldn't know this is an e-bike until it gets moving and that's what they asked for and that's what they're getting. A lot of what people were doing felt very aftermarket. You know, bike frame, take a battery, bolt it to it. We wanted the, the electric components to be a part of the bike. How do you fit a battery pack inside of a bike frame? You know, what kind of shapes do you have to work with? What do you have to do with the cells? We were able to fit an 800 watt hour pack inside that bike, which is just about two times the average e-bike pack you'll see out in the street today. We have a really accurate torque sensor. At the moment you start pedaling and put any force in the bike, we're gonna to react to that. It has to be an extension of the rider to the point where you don't even know that it's electric anymore. The more you put into it, the more the bike gives. Once you start getting on the straightaways and start pushing those speeds, 25, 30 miles an hour, that's where our power trainer really step in. With us, your legs are the throttle. You don't have to shift, it can shift faster than you can. When you ride the bike, it's really like an exoskeleton. You basically feel like Superman when you're riding the bike. 